what is up data homies so we're going on to a little bit more of a technical analysis in terms of theta's most recent partners and updates i'm really looking forward to this because it's going to be a little bit more specific to google and especially when we do know that they are a valid data node for theta network i feel like that's just a little more exciting to see more constant updates before diving into anything i do want to mention our sponsor of today's video of theta forum so just a quick message from them september 2025 is also special going on to some of the requirements in order to earn more t fuel for free by just signing up on data forums i'll put some of the criteria here so you can read through it all you do is register as a new member in the month of september of 2025 post at least one new thread in september and also post at least one new reply in september and then later on you'll be able to email this contact here and then from there they'll verify whatever requirements that are completed and then you'll be able to earn your tvl through there but just showing you the platform here we're going to see here so you can see all the different threads here that are listed you can go to the directory the topics and the amount of posts that are listed but overall if you're starting as a new member you can click on the top right corner you sign up as a new member because this is who this advertisement is for for new members and then once you're there you'll see all the requirements that i mentioned that are listed here again in case you need a reminder once it's all completed you'll be able to email this email here and then they'll be able to send you that free 100 t fuel for just being a part of the theta ecosystem thank you theta forms for sponsoring this video now back on to the content here this is important because with google deep mind ai what it is it's an artificial intelligence research division of google formed from the merger of google brain and deep mind technologies in 2023 it is a dedicated to building safe and beneficial ai through generalist approach developing ai systems that learn from data and experience to solve complex scientific and technical challenges for the betterment of humanity you can see all these other parts here that are listed that division of google works in you can see listed here but altogether it's just nice seeing that this is just the quick definition and the reason as to why it's important with Theta Network is what we're going to go on to here next. Starting with Mitch, it says Google Gemini 2.5 Pro by Google DeepMind, now supported by Theta Network. Next generation AI is here. Going on to Jihee's post as well, building smart AI agents. Theta Network's Edge Cloud now supports RAG chatbots using Google DeepMind Gemini 2.5 Pro as a large language model endpoint. Here's that chatbot. You can look here as a large language model endpoint. And then here's a chatbot here if you would like to use it. So I believe, or maybe initiate it says create your first rag chatbot here to get started so with chatbots i believe it's kind of similar to how the las vegas knights all the sports teams affiliated with data network like houston rockets additionally as all the other football clubs that are partner with data network i believe use so when we're having these type of resources like data network and google DeepMind ai just continuing to build i feel like it's a plus regardless of the price i know it's kind of hard to really believe and how theta's network just continues to build especially with the price so low at least in the making of this video going on to a few things too i just want to mention that that's pretty important just to highlight some more technical things. This was posted on September 16th of 2025. Google DeepMind has dropped a paper on virtual agent economies, which explores the future of AI agents interacting economically with each other and with humans, including using cryptocurrencies. But how should an AI agent secure its own crypto wallet in the first place? Check out the article posted right here. Back in 2025, it discussed the pros and cons of four possible options, including these four listed right here. And we'll also kind of define and talk about it a little bit as to how these AI agents could just basically be an AI assistant for anyone who wishes or chooses to use them especially if it is beneficial for these people but for right now at least in the making of this video in 2025 i believe it's only useful for big corporations and organizations rather than small community individuals or just even streamers themselves these agents can perform a variety of tasks including sending and receiving tokens calling smart contracts and even writing and deploying smart contracts on chain unlike traditional systems these autonomous ai agents are proactive capable of making independent decisions without direct human intervention intervention. An example is an autonomous crypto trading agent which leverages sophisticated deep learning algorithms to execute trades by interacting with the on-chain decentralized exchanges. To enable these promising capabilities, an AI agent needs to be possessing a private key to initiate blockchain transactions. If the agent runs in a local device such as a smartphone or a laptop, managing the private key becomes relatively straightforward. However, AI agents often require substantial computational resources, for example, to run an advanced large language model, making this simple design improved practical for many use cases. To help address this challenge, the below are informally defined by the problem. A user seeks to deploy an AI agent that proactively acts on their behalf. The user provides the AI agent with a private key which enables direct or indirect access to valuable on-chain crypto 
assets. Due to the significant computational demands of the agent, such as running advanced deep learning models or performing resource-intensive tasks, it may need to operate in a potentially adversarial environment, such as a remote server. This challenge is to design a system such that, even with the server compromise, crypto assets accessible through the private key remain secure. So basically saying that even though that maybe the AI agent becomes compromised, your assets for those cryptocurrencies or tokens are safe and not going to be stolen. And here are just some of a few suggestions that Jihee has mentioned and defined for us. Initially, the TEE, also known as the Trusted Execution Environment, and executing an entire AI agent code inside the TEE. But the issue with this, or I guess the definition I should start off with, it's that the TEE remains uncompromised. Adversaries would be unable to either alter the agent's code or extract the private key. However, the issue is the TEEs are designed to be secure. They could still be susceptible to sophisticated attacks targeting specific vulnerabilities in their implementation. Additionally, the use of TEEs may introduce performance overhead as running code with protected environment can be slower compared to the execution outside of it. So although this could be secure, the whole thing could just be slower and then just compromise in terms of any sort of attacks. An IO-based indistinguishable obfuscation is a powerful cryptographic tool, one direct of the IO to high private keys in the AI agent code itself. The primary advantage of this is to ensure that even if the key is included in the sophisticated obfuscated code, adversaries could still be able to extract it even when the code is executed on a remote server. However, the I.O. is still in nascent stage, both in terms of the theoretical development and practical implementation. Current constructions on the I.O.s are highly resource intensive, requiring significant computation overhead and large memory footprints, making them impracticable for many real world applications. So essentially, even though hiding the code somewhere in within the system is could be a possibility. But what we just mentioned in terms of overhead costs and astral just like resources is just may not be worthwhile for the actual task that may be needed to be completed. And PC bases are tools such as multi-party computation and threshold signatures in this setup multiple instances of the AI agent code run in parallel across several worker nodes in this setup they run multiple instances of the AI agent code in parallel with other worker nodes the user splits the private key into multiple shares and securely sends each share to a different worker node ensuring that the, no single node possesses the entire key so basically saying if I had like four different sections of one entire key those pieces are branched off into different areas just so that in case there was some sort of breach with the private key that one node doesn't have all the treasure basically does not have the whole entire key for the assets so that's just the mpc based example and then talking about a little bit of a disadvantage of it although this approach requires an additional overhead of running multiple instances of the ai agent it significantly enhances security while allowing the agent to operate safely in untrusted environments so based on the three that we've listed so far it seems like it's working out like the best in terms of how to navigate the private key but there's also one other solution that's listed here. Additionally, there is just an example of how this whole example that we read is listed. So you can look at the screenshot as well as look at all the diagrams that are hyperlinked in this article. Fourth one here is the snark based. In this approach, they run a snark prover along with an agent in a powerful server. Meanwhile, the corresponding snark verifier, a local personal device, for example, like a sm smartphone or a laptop, the local personal device also possesses the private key. So it sounds like these two locations have the private key. The user generates a cryptographic commitment to the AI agent code and publishes it on the blockchain. Then each time the server generates a transaction requiring the signature of the private key, the local device uses the snark verify to ensure that the transaction is generated by the committed agent code. So basically just like a proof. So once something is initiated, there's going to be a proof to make sure and verify that this code or transaction is correct. And then from there, the snark will be able to verify and to make sure it give it the thumbs up. Kind of like how it say maybe when like TSA allows passengers to cross into the airport is probably the quickest example I can really think of or maybe when you're going through a toll well nowadays there's really no one really stopping you so I guess the parking garage is another one when you have a verified type of code to get in and out of the parking lot other things is just comparing the other structures. It says, unlike the MPC based approach, this method eliminates the need to run multiple copies of AI agent code. However, despite recent advancements in this model, generating snark proofs for cutting edge deep learning models remain highly challenging due to the computational complexity involved. So altogether, it just sounds like these are the barriers for all any of these methods to be useful, either cost, high overhead intensity in terms of resources, or it just seems like the tasks that need to be done is probably gonna be overkill for these type of 
models. So you can check throughout all these other comments down below guys. I just feel like there's just some potential that Theta Network could still leap forward just seeing where crypto altogether. I'm just going to tie back to the deep model because when we're talking about Google DeepMind, we're talking about all these other AI agents, which one's probably going to be the most useful, resourceful, and cost efficient is basically choosing one of these models to see whatever task these Google DeepMind AI agents may be able to complete like the task, any things like that, and how daily users like ourselves can basically have our own agent, but also at the same time without it being too cost insufficient, I guess is probably the best way. But drop anything down below, any thoughts, comments as to if you're using a model already, any AI agents other than just the ones that you're using on any of the Theta affiliated chatbots. If you're trying to make your own chatbot, just comment anything down below. I do want to mention because I didn't do another search online or another partner with Theta Network, just a quick question is, is it important that the Google DeepMind is supported by Theta Network? Just a quick first answer. The Theta Network through Edge Cloud Platform now supports the Retrieval Augmented Generation RAG chatbots that utilize DeepMind's Gemini 2.5 Pro as a large language model. This integration signifies a notable development for both entities in the realm of AI and decentralized computing. Again, I just want to read that quick intro and then you can read the rest of it if you are more than happy to. It's just showing that Theta Network and Google, again, just continue to build and hopefully they just continue and then other platforms, other companies also just onboard Theta Network in some sort of manner. This article was, I think, from 2023, no, 2024 of March, scrolling down, just talking about the tree of thought that GE released back when this was announced. It says, coincidentally, just two days after GE uploaded his preprint, a research team from Princeton University and Google DeepMind published another widely cited tree of thought paper with very similar ideas in terms of the tree of thought, just talking about processes of how humans just like, when you make a decision, if there's not the right decision, you'll go back down to the previous step and then choose the other alternatives if there are any. So here's just a quick model. Here's a one model, another model in terms of the experiments talking about different large language models used, and then altogether just an article just seeing where these AI agents could potentially go in terms of decision making. Last thing I do want to mention, just a little bit fun things like Easter egg I like to throw in at the end of the video. We're talking about here Kyle Laffey posting how OM official just brings out Kyle Laffey and Mitch Liu. And then I believe this is another member of Theta team. Just onto the field, you see the Theta logo here. And then you can see some jerseys that they were given as well. So all together, just nice to see that Theta Network just continues to grow. Other companies that are already partnered with Theta Network still announces some sort of partnership. And it just shows that Theta Network has some potential still. But again, none of these videos are financial advice definitely do your own research before investing guys so we shall see as to how Theta Network grows on all the other platforms that they've already partnered with but overall that's all I really have for today's video guys thank you so much if you're an OG viewer and subscriber and coming back to the channel would not be here without you if you're a new viewer though trying to find as much Theta news updates NFTs or any kind of Theta partnerships please hit that like and subscribe button check out all the links down below in the description for all the links that I posted in this video as well staking your Theta tokens to my guardian node either way help on my channel help the Theta a network but overall help yourselves out earn as much tea fuel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drop open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing it back to your wallet really i'm excited for the future of theta network future partners any collaborations businesses things like that i'm still going to be optimistic of course that's the reason why this channel is still growing and people are still subscribing to the channel and people are still staking so i'm glad to say that there's still hundreds of thousands of theta tokens on my guardian node i am also thankful for the sponsors that are coming onto the channel I also would not be here without you guys so thank you very much really am looking forward to the future of theta though until the next theta video till the next theta update it is your boy justin Seti. so try to keep up a right, height deuces